Remember Flappy Bird? That mobile game about trying to get a bird through a series of pipes? Yeah, that really simple game. The one that made people sell phones with it installed for thousands and thousands of dollars? Well, instead of mortgaging your house, you can now drop $3 on Steam and experience all the frustrating glory of Flappy Bird, but in virtual reality. Flappy Flappy VR is both fun to say and fun to play. Hey guys, wanna go play some Flappy Flappy? Yeah! Flappy Flappy follows the exact same structure as Flappy Bird. While moving forward at a constant speed, you flap your arms to gain altitude or remain still to fall. But this isn't some fanciful flight, oh no howdy. In between you and whatever end goal there is, lies a series of green pipes. It's a Mario wet dream out there. Mamma mia! There are tiny gaps in the pipes that you have to nimbly fly your way through. The location of these gaps will vary and you'll really need to nail your flapping to make it through. The game comes in two difficulty modes. Chicken, where you move much slower and the gaps start large and reduce in size as you move along, and Peregrine, named for the agile falcon that can move at speeds of 240 miles per hour. Yeah, shit, it's the fastest animal alive, did you know that? While you aren't moving at quite that speed, you do fly much faster and the gaps remain at their smallest width throughout. While I never actually felt like a bird, it was cool to witness myself becoming more and more focused on the game as I tried to improve. I had to work on my flapping technique quite a bit until I found one comfortable for me, allowing me to move past the first tube. Kind of. Sometimes. The gameplay is relatively simple, but it is frustrating. Because there isn't a simple button press to flap, so you're wildly flailing your arms and you need to have the precise amount of movement and force for each flap, and that's not easy to do. It's particularly tough, okay, nearly impossible really, on gaps where the first one is really low and the second is really high. You just have too much speed and too much trajectory to make it. But those frustrations aside, you will get better at the game. Start in chicken mode and learn how to best flap for yourself. For instance, you could use full arm movements or just a flick of the wrist. And then move on to Peregrine and start dying. A lot. But with each death, you will improve. It's a cool process. There is one more addition the game makes that I loved. When you pass a certain number of tubes, you get the option to caw. You can either make this noise in real life, or press a trigger. But what it does is send a bird to fly next to you. For every bird you have, the points are multiplied by that amount. They will die off periodically, but it's a great way to chase the high score. You get two pretty neat wings attached to your body, but you'll only see them at the start. Otherwise, all you're looking at is tubes. Oh, go figure, look at that. Oh, look at that. The world itself is polygonal and drab, but you will almost never look at your surroundings because you need to maximize your concentration on the course itself. The bird caw is pretty amusing and the flaps sound like flaps, but for the most part, all you're gonna hear is the background music, which is quite calm and relaxing. It was never annoying. Oh and you'll be hearing these smacks. A lot. For just $3, Flappy Flappy is a great little game to amuse yourself or even a group of friends. You will look ridiculous, but the gameplay is fun and the urge to keep trying to get better will push you into more playing time than you would normally expect. 7 out of 10.